Hello, it's Laverne Zabielski, and uh, good day to you. I want to share with you some of my work and some of my poetry as part of my living a layered life philosophy, figuring out a way to make sure everything that I do is part of my art. This is a uh, felted piece I made on the felt loom. These are old clothes that I picked up, <clears throat> either people gave me or uh, I got them at Goodwill or the Salvation Army. This is a lovely piece of um, <clears throat> tatting you can see in here. This was made in 1929. A woman had um, let me know that she had some and I got it from her and it's embellished with a uh, antique button. Um, you can probably see it a little bit. And then it was felted onto uh, black merino. And of course you can see some of the stitching on the other side as I would embellish the, the various areas. So it gives me something warm to wear, to wrap around, to be warm, to be cozy in. So I have a website and I teach some classes. Whoops on um, using the felt loom in my uh, studio and uh, through the Fine Arts Institute at UK. You can check those out if you are in Lexington and um, Kentucky or uh, email me and we'll figure out a way for me to share more of the information I have on using the felt loom. And I'm also a writer and I think that writing is important that we share our stories. I have um, recently published the uh, my memoir writing inspirations so just let me read a couple of pieces from there first i start with a self-portrait there is much i want to do i keep putting things off or i keep beginning but not complete i feel an urgency to share what i've experienced i'm not sure why maybe i want to make you feel better even if it is sad when I share, people say thank you and that I have courage. I'm not sure why they say I have courage. It's uh, the sharing, the struggles. I'm sharing them because they are real. It's strange that sharing what's real is perceived as courageous. I feel it's an urgent. So I'm a believer, something of an art missionary writing missionary, encouraging people to write their stories and to share them, whether they're published or in an artist book or self-published. So let me read one other piece in this collection. I titled it, What Feels Right? And I begin with a quote from Mark Twain. When angry, count four. When very angry, swear. My commitment again to write more regularly feels right. I cleaned my space for you, created your own little corner in the loft where I sew and sometimes sleep. When I fear my tossing and turning will keep Larry, my husband, awake, which happens more often than not. In the early morning, I frequently crawl back under the flannel colors and nestle my naked body into the curb of his heat and softness. That feels right. The unclogged drain also feels right. It was a three-day ordeal. The kitchen sink, coconut oil, we are convinced was the culprit. Google it. What feels most right was the lack of cussing. Larry is a gentle man, an awesome lover, and a great cook, just to mention a few of his wonderful traits. But the cussing has become more than I can handle. It was while Mary and I were hanging my show at the gallery, ensemble, a layering of color. That's when I recognized how much the cussing has penetrated my body. Mary was on a ladder attempting to toss fishing line over a steel rod so I could drape fabric onto a pole. She missed. Instantly, my body braced in anticipation of her cussing. She never cusses. There was no reason for me to react. It was a remnant from my reactions to Larry's reaction as he pulled the auger out of the pipe, filled the drain with water, and nothing flowed. 
When I got home and Larry showed me his new automated auger and plastic tubing for filling with hot water and detailed his strategy for breaking through the coconut oil, I took a stand. No cussing, I said. I told him about the incident at the gallery. I warned him if he cussed, I would spray him with cold water. He was humble and nodded in agreement. He complied. When the auger got stuck, he paused, rested, and tried again. Another quote from Mark Twain, let us swear while we may, for in heaven it will not be allowed. So I hope that you're writing your life and you're sharing it. You can visit my website to see where I might be having some readings online or in Kentucky. And perhaps if you would like to publish your own book, self-publish it, I could help you there. So thanks for joining in and I uh, hope to see you again soon.